Cheer up, Maggie. So, what do you think of my crib? I always wanted you to see it. Al, honestly. I know, I know. But don't be so glum. I got us into this mess. I'll get us out of it. Like I said, I've got a plan. And what exactly is your plan? All we need to do is find some outside investors. And that's my specialty. Al, people lost their jobs. What about them? No sweat. If we get the money to finance this thing, we'll just hire everyone back. Look, I realize I'm not the best at balancing the books, but I do have the gift of the gab. But I'm going to need your help. Are you in? Let's do it. Great. Then we start today. I still have to get someone in to look after the service here. In the meantime, would you mind? Just making sure that people get what they need. It's only a temporary thing. I have other plans for you. Now, do you have 20 bucks I can borrow? I owe the pizza guy. Wow, what a place. No wonder the company ran out of cash. So, what's the big news you couldn't tell me over the phone? Genius of Love is going to get made after all. Are you serious? How? Al Jr. thinks we can raise the money from outside investors. He even wants my help. It's going to a side of the business I've never seen before. And it may take some sacrifices too. But it will be worth it. You're amazing, you know that? We're going to have a series of parties. The first will be for charities so we can attract some attention. Glamorous celebrities like to present themselves as noble and benevolent people. Some of the parties will be more important than others. But the last one is going to be the biggie. That's where the high muckety mucks with the extra deep pockets are going to be. Sounds expensive, and we're broke, remember? Doesn't matter. In this town, you gotta fake it till you make it. Besides, it's for charity, remember? They'll cover the cost of the party anyway. Let's get to my next point. You need a makeover. Pardon me? You know, maybe tease your hair, put on something a little more inviting. The investors are mostly going to be men after all. I'll think about it. Great. Thanks. You're the best. That'll be the pizza guy. You mind getting that? I'm a little strapped for cash. Hi, Vicky. I think I need a favor. This is going to sound ridiculous, but I want you to make me up. Don't laugh. It's all about saving the movie. Would you? Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I'll explain everything. Hey, what you working on? Oh, it's nothing. Well, not nothing. Just some final amendments to my screenplay. I didn't know you were a writer. Just on and off. It's more of a hobby, really. Can I read it? Yeah. I mean, if you really want to. Of course I do. I'll give you some notes. Oh, that'd be great. 
Is there anything I can do in return? Done. Thanks so much, Vicky. No problemo. I was going crazy just kicking around my apartment anyways. So, what are we going for here? Apparently, Al Jr. thinks investors will be more likely to write checks. If I look a little more inviting. Okay, but watch yourself. This is still very much a man's business. We've got to be twice as smart, twice as strong, and twice as good at hiding it. Don't worry about me. I know how to handle myself. <sighs> Besides, if I have to flirt a little to get what I want, and it'll get you guys your jobs back, so be it. You really are brave. But who's going to handle the service while you're amusing the investors? Gosh, I don't know. Al's still looking for someone. But we're still broke. So I don't know what he has in mind. So, what do you think? Well, just do it. I'm telling you, you're going to look great. Hey, you clean up pretty good. You like it? I love it. Come on, let's hit the club. Michael, I reread the script. The ending's still not working for me. No way. Why can't Tom and Rachel end up together? You must be joking. A happy ending runs contrary to the whole theme of the movie. Michael, calm down. Al, can we talk? Well, he's right about one thing. You do look great. Al, where's this all coming from? I thought you liked the ending. I did, when SureShot was paying for it. But a downer ending is not going to pitch well to investors. I will talk to him about it. Maybe he's just got to hear it from someone else. Just remind him who works for who, okay? Shall we go? Vicky, you're still here. Has something happened? Nope. I've just been thinking is all. And I want to help too. Really? I've already spoken to Al Jr. I'll be looking after this place while you keep the investors happy. Back on the same boat, I guess. Vicky, I can't thank you enough. I just hope we make it, Maggie. So how long are you planning to stay for? I don't know. At least until we've secured some financing for the movie. Did you get a chance to read my screenplay? No, sorry. I've been super busy. Do you think you can score me an invite to the party tomorrow? I'll have to ask Al Jr. Why? You're the director, aren't you? Yes, but it's just this party is very important. Hey, I'm in this too. Besides, I want to make sure I protect the integrity of my work. I mean, changing the ND one's a big deal. I'll put you on the list. Promise.
No, absolutely not. Why does Michael want to come anyway? He's just feeling a bit protective about his script. He did agree to a big compromise with the ending. So what? We all have to make compromises. This is Hollywood. Forget about him. Let's talk about tomorrow. It's very important that you avoid talking about your vision. You gotta let them talk. Make them feel like they're part of the creative process. That doesn't sound like a good idea. No, no, we just let them think it. Once we have their money, we do what we want to do. Trust me, I've been doing this practically my whole life. It's how it's done. You're going to do great. You've got the brains, the looks, the charms. You're the total package. I, uh, I better get some sleep for tomorrow. Of course, I was invited to T. Cruz's wedding. I overslept, though, so I got there late. Just in time for the divorce. Oh! <gasps> is that Frank? Yeah, it is. What's the big deal? He hates my guts. If you get these guys starstruck, they're a lot more pliable. Don't worry about Frank. I'm paying him a pretty penny to be here. Frank, sweetheart, ready to make the rounds? You have exactly one hour. Smiles then, everyone. Had I known you'd be here, I wouldn't have come. Come on, Frank. Can't we just move on? When someone stabs me in the back, I don't forget it easily. You hear me, everyone? This woman is a backstabber. Don't trust her. Every other word out of her mouth is a lie. <laughs> Just a little friendly banter between two old friends, eh, Frank? He... Did you forget your pills or something? What's wrong with you? Look, last night wasn't so bad. I think I hooked some real big fish. You, Al Jr.? Yeah, yeah, right here. Thank you, ma'am. See? A certified check from Don Schofield. That's great. How do you manage that? Well, there are strings attached. See, his daughter fancies herself as an actress. And, uh, I told him she could play Nadine. You promised her Nadine? But that's a major role. I mean, can she act? Not really. But unless you've got several mil in the bank, I think we're stuck with her. Unbelievable. I'll have to rewrite the entire thing just to mitigate the damage she can do. So, how are you feeling? How do you think I'm feeling? I should have known this was going to happen. How could I be so blind? It'll be okay. You'll figure it out. 
you're a talented writer. It doesn't matter. There's been plenty of lousy movies made from great scripts. Speaking of scripts, did you get a chance to read mine? Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, it was great. Great? That's it? I kind of hoped you might have some feedback for me. I'll try to type up some notes if I get a chance, okay? I've got a script to rewrite. Of course, I was invited to T. Cruz's wedding. I overslept, though. Got there just in time for the divorce. Steve, would you excuse me for a moment? No problem at all, Al. Now, Maggie, hit the big time. So, Maggie, tell me a little more about yourself. Well... I have been an AD most of my career, but I actually took over from Clyde Dew. No, no. I meant tell me about your status. I'm a... Uh, I'm seeing someone actually. Oh, pity. What happened, Maggie? So, how serious is this boyfriend of yours? Oh! <gasps> Thought I'd crash your little shindig. So, who's this? This is Steve Meadows. He's a film investor. Steve, this is Michael. He wrote the screenplay. Really? Great! because I had an idea on how to fix it. What if, bear with me now, what if Tom and Rachel ended up together? Steve, let me ask you, how many screenplays have you written? I'm not a writer, I'm a businessman. Exactly, so why don't you write us a check and leave the creative work to the real professionals? Michael? Why, I don't invest in junk, son. I don't allow my friends to either. I'm sorry. I was an idiot. Can you forgive me? Someday, maybe. Please, 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 please. Is that the best you can do? You're a writer, for goodness sake. I wish to express my sincerest apologies. My behavior was unbearably inconsonant and mal a propos. You two have fun last night? Al, I'm sorry, man. We have one party left, and we're well below our goal. Maggie and I will need to strategize tonight. No distractions. Michael? Can I take a rain check on tonight? Sure. What's all this? Well, we gotta eat, right? I thought this was a strategy meeting. What's up with you? Work, work, work. All the time. Al. I, uh, I'm tired. We can pick this up first thing in the morning if you want. I have to say, 
I wouldn't like to be in your shoes. From the very beginning, I didn't like this idea about seducing men. And I don't want to wear this stupid dress anymore. Well then, don't. What? You shouldn't do it if it doesn't feel right. Just be yourself, Maggie. Isn't it what your grandpa taught you? It is. Vicky, you are absolutely right. Thank you so much. Al, you okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Hey, what happened to your dress? Oh, actually, I decided I'd do things my own way. Really? As if the farce with Michael wasn't enough. Please, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Look, about last night. Forget it. I gotta go mingle. What are you doing here? You must understand. Didn't I make myself clear? You got me in trouble. I'll be on my best behavior. I promise. It's critical that scenography reflects the reality of the past, like Italian immigration in the 1920s in New York, which created many well-known landmarks. It's just an example from my own script. Speaking of scripts, did you get a chance to look at Michael's work? Oh yes, I liked it a lot. It's got box office potential, if it's done right. But the ending... Bit of a downer, isn't it? No, I think it's perfect. To have Tom and Rachel end up together wouldn't ring true. I like your approach. Direct, no BS. Very un-Hollywood. Bruce, baby! How you doing? Maggie here treating you good? Just fine. Bruce, you come on board with us. You're not just an investor, you're a partner. I think you're right about the ending. Our audience will want to see Tom and Rachel get married. Hey, maybe we could even push forward into the future show that they had some kids together. Al, can we? Hmm, he has a good point. We do have to consider the film's commercial prospects. What on earth was that, Al? Tom and Rachel are having babies now? It's called showbiz. We just got another investor on board. And the movie you're making is unrecognizable from the one I wrote. And you? I thought you'd at least have my back. I tried, Michael. Look, maybe we can find some middle ground. Please. If you knew a single thing about screenplays, you'd understand. Excuse me? By the way, your screenplay? I never even read it. I tried. After page five, I fell asleep. I put my heart and soul into that screenplay. Too bad you didn't have any talent to add to the mix. By the way, we're through. Maggie, why are you so upset? Well, 
That couldn't have gone worse. What are you talking about? We got funded. Yeah, but Michael, we don't need him. You and me, we're going to make a heck of a team. Al, please. Come on, are you saying you don't feel anything for me? No, I don't. Al, you're just making this really uncomfortable for me. You look pretty comfortable to me. You have a job? A mansion to stay in? Let me spell it out. You're either with me or you're out. Al. I quit. I'll have you blackballed from every studio and production company in town. Don't forget, I own the rights to genius. I'll bury it. Good. Go ahead and bury yourself with it while you're at it. I'll make my own film.